Hey everybody, it's Kelly from Ready Set Drone here. Uh, just going to do a quick video. I want to show you something that I received from GearBest. Uh, Adam over at GearBest sent this to me to check out and review. It is the 5.8 gigahertz FPV artifact, which is basically a wristwatch that uh, picks up FPV signals from uh, 5.8 gigahertz transmitter, which is what I believe uh, Immersion RC and uh, Fat Sharks work on. So I haven't actually tried it yet. I did charge it, but uh, that's what it looks like. It uh, is made by G Tang, and it um, covers channels A through F and one through eight. So you should be able to actually see it straight out of the box with anything that is compatible with Fat Sharks. Uh, I have my Fat Sharks here. I don't even know if I'm going to get them out or not. And then as a transmitter, I thought I'd use my uh, Nano QX2 FPV uh, drone, which is right here. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and get out the uh, Nano QX FPV. Got a couple of spare batteries here. And uh, it is charged up and ready to fly. Uh, so there it is. It's got a built-in camera and transmitter, and it... Uh, has a switch here on the top that allows you to switch between the eight channels. So what I believe can happen here, I think I'm going to be able to just turn this guy on, get the battery plugged in, get it turned on, and it is blinking now. It's waiting to be bound. I'll go ahead and bound it to a radio just to be safe. Find it to my spectrum radio. It's bound. And now it should be transmitting a signal. Now, how you actually... I assume that the buttons on the side here change the channels on this guy. Now, as far as how you actually turn this thing on, that's an excellent question. The antenna, oh, I guess this thing right here on the side is the antenna. So, it looks like maybe you pull this out. Aha, there's the antenna. <laughs> it's kind of a cute little thing, it sticks out the side. Uh, long press power on so I'm assuming maybe one of these buttons on the side you hold it down for a few seconds that doesn't seem to do it what about let's try this one oh there it is yep and there is the screen now I'm gonna actually try changing the channels man so close You can see that's that's the signal. It's just all scrambled. Oh, there it is. So after some trial and error, we have a clean video signal on this thing. So let's see here. I'm gonna point the camera down at it. Take it up for a little flight. And you can see it's actually working pretty well. Fly it around the room. It's really dark over there. But yeah, this thing. Uh, Seems to actually work pretty well. So, solid signal. You can see right there. You can also see on the GoPro. Uh, coming from the. So as I move the so move the um, the quad around, you can see it's a pretty good signal. I'm pretty impressed actually with how clear it is and how clean it is. Um, 
So the G Tang, don't know how long the battery lasts yet, but it definitely works and it definitely gives you a pretty clean signal. Now, as far as wearing it goes and flying while you're wearing it, that might be another story. This might be a fun thing to take to uh, FPV races somewhere and just be able to watch, uh, observe people flying. But let's see if I. So overall, um, let's try something here. I'll try doing my closing segment on the camera of the FPV. So overall, it's a uh, kind of interesting, gimmicky little thing, but uh, definitely works. Seems to have a really clear signal coming from the quad, and uh, has, uh, as I said. Um, multiple channels, so you just have to find the right channel to match it up to your quad, but uh, works right out of the box. I'd be interested to see how long the battery lasts, and uh, also, I'm going to try one more thing. I'm going to carry this quad down the hall and see when we start to lose signal. So I'm going through one door, I'll be back. So currently the quad is about 30 feet away, sitting on a table, and uh, you can see it's still a pretty clear signal. I'm going to take it further and see how it does. Now the quad is about 60 feet away, and it is uh, transmitting through two different, um, two different walls. There are two walls between us and it. Still a decent signal. I'm going to take it a little further and see how it does. Okay, now the quad is about 90 feet away, sitting in the atrium of the building, and uh, starting to break up. So, but it's going through three walls at this point. Not bad, not bad at all. I'm gonna go get it and bring it back. All right, so brought it back. Here it is, and uh, pretty good, pretty good reception from that distance, uh, actually. I'm quite impressed by that. Um, so this is the G Fang 5.8 gigahertz FPV artifact watch. And like I said, little antenna, two buttons on the side, charging port, that's it. Pretty simple. You just find the right transmission signal and it gives you a pretty clean, clear signal considering uh, that it is pretty cheap. So the official name of this thing is the G-Tang, or G-Tang T909. It is available on GearBest. I am going to put up a link to it for $29.99 from this link. So if you're interested in getting one and flying your FPV with uh, your screen on your wrist, this is the way to go, the G-Tang T909. Thanks for watching Ready, Set, Drone. Hope you enjoyed it. If you liked it, please subscribe, comment below, and uh, look forward to seeing you next time. Happy flying.